Hi friends, today we're going to be working with understanding characters. So when you understand characters, you understand why the character feels and acts the way that they do. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to read us a story about a boy called Jack Berleski, and then we're going to talk about his feelings and why he does the things that he does. Okay, so this is the life of Jack Berleski. Do you like poems? Do you like to laugh? Jack Berlewski is a poet. So he's a poet, like how our, um, my name is Gabriella. Gabriella's a poet as well. He writes poems that makes, that makes people laugh. He writes poems that make people laugh. He writes about taco-flavored ice cream. He writes about having your nose between your toes or in your hair. He has written more than 40 books of poetry. One book is called It's Raining Pigs and Noodles. Another is called Something Big Has Been Here. This is a book about Jack Berlewski's life. This is what kind of book is called a bio biography. Jack was born in 1940. He lived in New York City. Jack liked a lot of things when he was growing up. He liked music and drawing, but he did not like poetry be because he thought poetry was boring. It did not make him laugh. Jack loved singing, and he sang as often as he could. He went to the High School of Music and Art. The there, teachers taught him music and art. Jack always hoped to become a singer. He never dreamed he would become a poet. When Jack grew up, he had many jobs. He was a taxi driver and also a furniture mover. He worked as an illustrator, too. An illustrator is someone who draws pictures. Jack enjoyed working, but none of his jobs was quite what he wanted. He was looking for a job that would be exactly right for him. Jack started to enjoy poetry. He learned that poems did not have to be serious. Jack also learned that poetry could express his ideas. He could write about wishes or dreams. In fact, he could write about anything at all. In a poem, he could imagine that animals could talk or pretend that trees could sing. He could even make people laugh. Jack began to write poems. His friends read his poetry and they laughed a lot. One friend had a great idea. He wondered if Jack could sell his poetry. And he told Jack to show his poems to other people. So this is one of his poems. It's called A Wolf is at the Laundromat. A Wolf is at the Laundromat. It's not a wary stare wolf. It's short and fat. It tips its hat. Unlike a scary glare wolf. It combs its hair, it clips its toes. It is a fairly clean wolf. There's only. This is handwriting, it's kind of hard to read. It's only. It's, that's only there to clean its clothes. It's a wash and wear wolf. Get it? Wash and wear wolf, but it's the kind of wear you do with your clothes. Says this poem is fun, then you get on the block. Jack took his poetry to a company where books are made. The company liked Jack's poem, and they offered to make them a book. Jack accepted their offer. Jack's first book came out in 1967. It was called A Gopher in the Garden and Other Animal Poems. The poems were very silly. Many children read them, and they laughed a lot, too. Jack was now a poet. Over the years, Jack wrote many books full of funny poems. One poem is about a giant pizza, and another is about singing dragons. One poem is about hot dogs that can fly. It is called, We're Fearless Flying Hot Dogs. The hot dogs sail to the sky on fluttering wings. Some of Jack's poems are about big, grand ideas. Other poems are about small, simple things like ice cream or noses. Jack finds ideas for poems everywhere. He likes to eat spaghetti, so he wrote a poem about eating spaghetti. Not all of Jack's poems are silly. Some are scary. One of his books is called Nightmares, Poems to Trouble Your Sleep. It is about mean dinosaurs and danger, mean monsters and dangerous dinosaurs. Some people like Jack's silly poems, and some people like his scary poems. Some people like both kinds of poems. Jack's poetry may be silly, or it may be scary, but it is never boring. Children like reading his books. Grown-ups like them, too. Sometimes parents and children read his books together. Jack has won many awards for his poetry. In 2006, he won an important prize. This prize honored him for being a great children's poet. Jack Kolesky lives in Seattle, Washington with his wife, Carolyn. He hopes children will always enjoy his poems, and he hopes that, he might, that they might want to become poets, too. Jack hopes they will see how much fun poetry can be. So, what we're going to do to understand the target skill of characters is we're going to copy this chart, and by we, I mean me, you're just going to follow along, and write things that Jack likes as a boy, write jobs he had, and write what his poems were about, because this helps us understand him. Yes, he's a real person, but in this case, he's the character of this book. So they gave us a few things to put already. 
So things that he liked to do as a boy. Music. Like drawing. Jobs he had. Taxi driver was one. And we had to figure out another job he had. And what did he write poems about? Well, one thing he wrote was about spaghetti. We're going to figure out some other things. So let's start with the boy. What he, what he liked when he was a boy. So going back to that page in the text. <clears throat> so we have music and drawing. Which are the two main things he really liked. He liked music and drawing. So I think that that's pretty good so far with that. All right. But we also like to sing it, which is part of music, but let's put singing. We won't really understand Jack. When he grew up, he had many jobs. He was a taxi driver and, and also a furniture mover. So I can add furniture mover to my list. It also says that he worked as an illustrator. So I can add illustrator to my chart. So now I want to talk, just find some more examples of things he wrote poems about. Well, he just wrote a poem about a wolf that I struggled to read a little bit. So we have spaghetti, we have a wolf. He wrote a poem about giant pizza, singing dragons, flying hot dogs. So I'll put pizza, singing dragons. And flying hot dogs. So when you do something like this, and you want to understand the characters, think about the why. Understanding characters, understanding what he liked as a boy. He liked music, he liked drawing, he liked singing, he liked to laugh, you know, he liked to have fun. So it would make sense that he would write poems about these funny, silly things. And it would make sense that he had a uh, job as an illustrator because he liked to draw and things like that. So when you understand the characters, you think about why the characters feel and act the way that they do okay so it's just beginning to think more about these people these characters as deeper now yes this was a real person but even if that was a made-up story about a made-up poet it would be the same thing you'd be able to understand these different aspects of his life okay have a great rest of your day friends